Welcome back. Many people can't wait to retire, and then there are others who refuse to retire. <laughs> Claire Kosky <laughs> joins us to help us take time to smile with this story about a 91 year young woman who's being celebrated at Chick-fil-A. Well, and y'all may know her. You may remember her from when mm -hmm. we met her last yes. year, but you may know her if you go to the Chick-fil-A on Charlotte Pike. Now, I went there just to make sure that I would meet her. <laughs> Miss Marie, she retired from 11 years at Chick-fil-A, a job in which she taught others what love is all about. For the past 11 years. Hello, welcome to Chick-fil-A. How are you today? That sweet, familiar voice Hi, greeted the girl. customers at Chick-fil-A on Charlotte Pike. How are you today? Oh, you okay? Bad, Good to you. see you. The simple, my pleasure attitude got her hired on the spot. I've been retired two weeks from driving a school bus for 33 years. He hired me that day. They put me in the dining room, and that's been my place for 11 years. Over the course of those years, she became a bit of a local celebrity. Thank you, Miss Marie. My son loves you. You're like Dolly Parton to us. Oh, thank you. Everywhere we went, there's Miss Marie from Chick-fil-A, or I go in a doctor's office, and I'd say, yeah, my mother works, 91, Chick-fil-A. Your mom's Miss Marie. Although her popularity can't be touched, at the end of March, it became time to hang up her batch. I love you. Yeah, I love you. What do you think about this? This is something else. They love you. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't deserve it. But I, yeah, I you mean, deserve it 1,000%. No, After all the love she shared, the community came out to show her love at her retirement party. Good to see you I and celebrate you too. Thank you. To Miss Marie, your life and love has made Chick-fil-A a family. We love you and thank you. Mary Ann, and my husband wrote, save me some stickers, because she always has stickers for the children. The party was filled with customers who've come to adore her, police officers who've become friends, her children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. We're mailman's here. It is bittersweet, but just glad that she's here and uh, she's safe. As you can see by all these people here, you come here for a meal, but it really, she makes this Chick-fil-A what it is. She makes this community what it is. Um, you know, she's just a shining light and really just like a great example of a hardworking individual that's worked her whole life and she deserves every amount of love that she gets. At 91, she says she wishes she could still come to work every day. Oh, well, work as long as you feel like working. I could, I could still run that dining room right now if they would let me, but they won't let me. However, in 11 years, she says the job taught her about life and reminded her there's good all around us. I learned how to do a dining room real good. <laughs> I have learned that you, if you treat people like they're supposed to be treated, in return, you receive all of it back. And Miss Marie, you deserve it all. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too. I just love her. Well, Miss Marie told me that she hopes she taught others to love. And by the way, that, that strangers talk about her just in one encounter, one encounter, they say that they felt that. So it seems that she really did. What a good message that she spreads. You think that she'll probably go back a couple times a week just yeah. to hang out. She said she will. The people were like talking about who's going to go pick her up throughout the week because oh, they want to see her. Come, <laughs> come, come back to Chick-fil-A. I, I just love that people were already talking about her after meeting her one time. I know. Right? And at one point she wanted to work seven days a week, she did. right? She did. She, she probably could. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs>